February 2021 Manifestation Results Growth and Monthly Income Report. Today I'm sharing the results from my monthly reflection session in this Business Manifestations Results Report. I'm sharing my new monthly income report, evidence log, goals update, milestones met and mindset breakthroughs that I've had this month with you. Today I'm bringing you the results of my fifth month in business where I share my monthly manifestation results with you. In this report I am going to share my evidence log of what has already been manifesting that month including everything I manifested or achieved that month, my income report, my update on my 3G goals, my deepest feelings about how the month went, I analyse what worked, what didn't work and what needs to be improved, how I can be more productive and did I stick to my commitments that I set out the previous month. Today you are going to be motivated to work on your own goals and be interested in starting your own monthly manifestation report and you can see how I work through mindset issues to improve your own belief system. My name is Kath Kyle and I lead the Hustle Less, Manifest More movement. And as I'm going through this report, I would love to know what you liked about it or how it could be improved. So let me know by leaving a comment on my blog, my YouTube channel, or send me a DM on Instagram at Kath underscore Kyle. And as always, I have created a blog post version of this content, a podcast and a video. So use the type of media that you like the best. And just a very quick note before I share my results with you, I have an exciting announcement to make. I am now offering one-to-one coaching and I have never offered this before. I have done coaching before. I've been doing coaching, but I've never offered it via my blog to the public so this is the first time and I have a very special introductory rate that you can get for this month only and every single month I am putting up the price because it is super super low and won't be staying at this rate so if you want to jump in I encourage you to do it now before my rates get higher and higher and higher because every month if you keep checking it out it will have got higher and higher. So if you think you can't afford coaching, then I highly encourage you to go and check it out now because you will be pleasantly surprised. I've never seen coaching quite as low as the amount that I'm offering and plus all of the amazing bonuses that I'm offering with it. So go and check that out by going to kathkyle.com forward slash coaching and you can always go to my website and click on the products link and you'll see all my products from there as well. So let's get on with the report. So I am not going to share all of the details of everything. I'm not going to explain everything over and over again because I've done this um, five times now and if you go back to say one, two and three, the first time I did this, I will have explained in detail all of the steps of this report but as I know people will be listening to this over and over again I'm not going to bore you by sharing all of the descriptions of everything so if you want the full descriptions go over to your to the blog post which will be linked around this content piece the first link in there and then you'll get a full breakdown on what everything means so we're going to start the first section which is the success evidence log and the success evidence log involves making a list of all of the achievements to celebrate and there are three categories of the success evidence log. There is the uh, manifestation milestones met, there is the tons done and the success rituals achieved and there's also the mindset breakthroughs. So let's look at each one in turn. The manifestation milestones met. These are things that happened that you didn't have any control over that you can be grateful for, such as revenue earned and followers and subscribers gained. So here's everything that I manifested in the the month of February. And it's it is um in the past, it's quite far in the past because I do my content so far in the future. So that is why I'm not reporting on last month's results and it's all the way back in February. Eventually, 
it will catch up but um, this is me being organized my usual organized self so I couldn't possibly just do it a few days in advance that's just not how I work so here's everything I manifested my Facebook likes increased from 67 people to 71 likes my Pinterest followers increased from 749 to 858 and I I find this funny actually going back in time because I know what these results are now and I'm thinking to myself wow that's way higher now I'm so happy I'm so grateful it's actually increased again since then so uh You'll just have to either wait or you can actually go and check out my followers for yourself if you really want to know. My uh, Instagram followers increased from 125 to 130. My TikTok followers increased from 783 to 795. I've got two YouTube accounts. I've got one for long content and one for shorts and my long form content account. The watch hours in the last year increased from 20 to 34. My YouTube short account total watch hours in the last year increased from 50 to 53. My podcast downloads increased from 87 to 113 for the month and the total podcast downloads increased from 227 to 348. My email subscribers increased from 569 to 699. My blog traffic increased from in total increased from 59,460 to 73,615 and I sold eight different Cathcal products making a total of $788 for this brand. Now let's move on to tons done and success rituals. This is a list of everything that you did to move your business forward this month. Tons done are single one-off tasks and success rituals are things that you repeat over and over again. So here's what I achieved in February. I created nine videos, nine podcasts, nine blog posts and social media posts for every day of the week for Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and TikTok, actually for two months. I did my morning and evening routines every day. I did my monthly stamp planning, monthly reflection, which is this process here content planning session, my product planning session and my financial review session. I created my six figure content mini course. I created all of the marketing for my six figure content course. I created new Facebook ads to my manifestation milestone packs. I created another new product, my business manifestation toolkit and created all of the marketing for my business manifestation toolkit. And I reviewed and upgraded my systems in Asana. Mindset breakthroughs. So mindset breakthroughs are focused on what improvements you made in terms of your belief system. What did you discover and learn this month? And this might mean that you just have a recap of something that you already knew and it might be brought to the forefront of your mind. So I am sharing all of the mindset breakthroughs and insights I have had this month. Recognize how far you've come and the strength that you have. God is currently testing me. It's taken me many years to realize this and a coach probably would have helped me see this, but I wasn't ready to see this. Failure is an interpretation. The more you charge, the bigger the transformation. Fees are an energetic exchange that work as soon as someone pays and even backdates itself amazingly. One person's complaint is another person's opportunity. Things get to be the way I want them to be. If I don't want to build my traffic from Instagram, I don't have to. If I want people to buy from me as soon as they find me, that's exactly what I can have if I decide that I have that. Act like you already believe it's already happened. There's no need to create themed content that tie in with the theme of your product that you're trying to sell if you don't want them to. People buy your energy. I dedicate my life to helping entrepreneurs. I would have and have done this without being paid. This is my purpose. I am living my purpose. Your ideal client is you, just an earlier version. And this is the case most of the time and it's definitely the case for me. Business is the ultimate test of faith because the stakes are so high and the losses can be so big. You can give a business everything you've got to make it succeed, so you have to have faith in its future success. 
The reason you shouldn't hustle and overwork for your business is because you need to have balance in your life to experience the wonder of truly being alive. You need to notice the simple things to experience true happiness. Working every hour of every day will not result in fulfillment no matter how much money you earn. Just decide what you want and then give that desire to God. Then show up and just do the work that you can't not do. I need to stick to my boundaries and not overgive if someone isn't meeting me halfway. Live the dream right now. Don't wait for the future. All there is is the present. Be fully you right now. I can do everything I desire to do in a much shorter amount of time. If I want something enough, I can make it happen. It's time to change the way I create my content to save myself time and enable me to create one product every month in just three hours a day. You don't always need to price high to reach your income goals. Trust your gut. Trust that the money is yours regardless of your pricing. People become millionaires with high and low pricing either one you don't have to be just having high pricing a lot of people think manifestation is just sitting back and doing nothing and things appearing but it's actually co-creation when we take action from alignment things appear we finally got the keys to our dream house my husband and i had the same vision a beach house overlooking the sea As we were both so fixed on the same vision, it was only a matter of time before it happened. And just a quick side note here. um, Yes, we have moved in to our dream house and it's absolutely beautiful. And I will be talking more about this in future episodes. So just stay tuned. So let's move on to gratitude goals. Here is my gratitude goal update. Gratitude goals are goals that can't be controlled. In particular, they are revenue goals. And please note that I'm only reporting revenue for my Cathkyle brand. My other businesses generate a lot of passive income. So I get my confidence from there and also use the revenue from those businesses to pay for my online business tools that I share across all of my businesses. So for my new brand, I want to start reporting. I wanted to start reporting from the very first month that I made any money so that I could take you on the journey from making nothing to growing in the future. And I created one income report focusing on one month of revenue from one of my businesses just to show you all of my expenses that I paid across all of my businesses. And if you go to the blog post, then scroll down to the gratitude goals update the second section you will see a link there that says click here to read my health blog income report so you can see my full income report over there and have a look at the expenses that I spend money on every single month so let's just look at the Kath Kyle brand because I wanted to sh- to encourage you that not uh, you know, most people do not get results straight away in their businesses. They get um, very low results and a lot of people lose confidence and give up at this stage. So this is why I want to document my process as I go through the process of creating this new brand and show you that people don't make a million when they start a new business. You know, even with all of the experience that I have and um, all of the years in business, it is. It actually isn't going as fast as I thought and I expected it to go. So that is a lesson for me, um, to humble me really. To to um, and the fact that I am sharing this is, it can be a little embarrassing because I feel like I should I should have better results than this um, with all my experience. But at the same time, I know that there are very very good reasons why this is happening. I might not know all of them. I I can think of a lot of them right now that keep me going but I I don't know all of the reasons and I won't know this until the future so I just trust that this is the right thing to do and it will motivate other people that when you start a new business it <clears throat> it you don't get the results that you want immediately it doesn't happen so you just need to keep fixed on your goals and keep working towards them because it will manifest but you just don't know exactly when but that's one of the Uh, fun things in life. So uh, with all that said, here is my uh, income report and uh, don't laugh, but this is to motivate people who are 
struggling with the income and if you earn a lot more than this with your current brand then you can feel um, good about yourself and um, and if you earn less than this then hopefully this will will motivate you that there you know you can you can get results and that you know I, I will keep on improving in time and I will keep earning more money with this brand and it might go up and down a little bit but um, I will keep learning and growing I'm absolutely 100% convinced that this will absolutely soar at some point. I just need to keep going and keep consistent with it. And when it when it flies, it will absolutely fly. Right, so this month I made a total of $195. I sold one Brilliant Business Brain Stamps. I sold one Dream Business Blueprint course and I sold four stamp goals books and I sold two of my six figure content courses and my revenue increased from last month and I'm really happy that my income increased but I still consider my income very low however that I know that I'm currently in the testing phase of my business all businesses go through this phase and I am no different the length of the testing phase is different for everyone but it is needed for so many reasons including strengthening your character so that you are committed to your business, that you, so that you will continue with it and you won't let your customers down. And I welcome this challenge, I embrace it and I am grateful for it as I am totally walking in the shoes of my ideal client and understanding exactly how it feels to put your full effort into something and feel like you are yet to achieve your full compensation for that effort. So what did I do differently this month? I did have another launch for my Dream Business Blueprint course and it didn't actually do as well as the last time it launched it. And it's potentially too soon to launch again because I only launched this same product a few months ago because my email list hasn't grown massively since the last time I launched it. So most people have already seen this offer quite recently. And this is why I am working on creating a lot more products so I don't keep repeating launches for products more than twice in any year in the future. And I want to wait at least six months before launching the same product again. So I knew that I needed to get to work creating more products and fast. Let's move on to the giving goals update. Giving goals are goals that are focused on what you are offering for sale. And I more than exceeded all of my giving goals because not only did I get all of my content done for the entire month, but I actually created two different courses in one month. One of my courses was easy because it was a section of a bigger course that I'd already created, but I did create all of the marketing from scratch and I sold two of these courses called Six Figure Content, which I'm very happy about. And I also created my business manifestation toolkit completely from scratch, which is a big product for a very small price point. So I feel like I've definitely over delivered when it comes to this course. And I also created all of the marketing for this course too. Now let's move on to the growing goals update. Growing goals are focused on personal growth. My growing goal was to overcome not having enough time to help my clients and my students and not only did I overcome this but I overcame it in such a big way that I actually took on my very first coaching client and consistently coached him on a daily basis and I had more than enough time for this and all of my content and creating two different products while still only working three hours a day and that's what I was saying earlier on that I just had a major revelation that I can just decide what I'm going to do and there is a way and I will fit it in and I will get it done and I have proven this to be right. Now let's move on to success signs. Success signs are things that worked well or things that enabled you to reach your goals and things that you enjoyed working on but also things that you experimented with, action that you took even if you haven't seen any results from them yet. It is very, it's a success sign that you took a particular action. And I had a major energetic shift around coaching from going to not feeling like I ever wanted to offer coaching to clients to deciding that this is something that I definitely wanted to do 
I went for a walk with my husband and I told him that I wanted to start coaching clients and I felt like I, I did have a dedicated time slot for doing this every morning. And I said the thing that was holding me back was not being able to offer coaching calls because I only work for a very short amount of time and my time zone doesn't usually line up with the majority of my audience's time slots as most of them are in the US. However, I came up with an idea that I call continuous coaching and this is totally my own branded thing where my clients and I leave messages for each other on a daily basis and I give people more support than they would do with just a coaching call once a month. Then the very next day, I'm not joking, the next day after I committed to this experience, I got an email from a guy asking if I was offering one-to-one coaching and I said yes and I agreed to coach him and he really liked the idea of continuous coaching and the concept worked very well and we both really liked the model and I was able to delve much deeper into helping him with his business by using that model. Another thing, another success sign is my Facebook ad is working very well and more people are subscribing to my email list. I also developed a new system for creating products and content that means that I can get more of them done in less time. And I also launched a a new product and gained experience doing that. I also improved my emails to my email list by including more detail in them. And I became a business manifestation coach and I realized that I can do it. I do enjoy it and I can fit it into my short working day and still get everything else done. So this is a major win for me. Now let's move on to success blockers. These are things that are blocking your success and stopping you reaching your goals. So what has been missing for a long time for me has been offering coaching packages and I am going to create my very first coaching package for sale in the next couple of weeks right after I move house and as I wrote this in the past that's exactly what I did. I moved house and I created my first coaching package and it's now completely live and ready for my coaching clients to sign up with me and I still haven't done any live streams so this is a success blocker because I have a fear of them and um, I will be sharing more of this in the future, but uh, spoiler alert, um, I have done my first live stream. (laughs) And if you are subscribed to the podcast, you will have seen it on there because I posted it to the podcast. So uh, in February, that was a success blocker for me. And I have started creating plans that involve live streaming, but still have felt that I don't want to dedicate the time to it which may or may not be an excuse. So let's move on to the next section, which is my feelings about this month. And I felt like my use of time was amazing. I created so much stuff and I'm so happy with my progress, but I did feel disappointed about my low sales numbers, but I feel good about carrying on and I know that this will improve in time. And I had a really difficult month with two close family members being in hospital with serious health problems and serious surgeries. So I was really worried about them most of the month and my sleep was very poor most of the month. And even though my business didn't produce the revenue I desired, I still deeply and completely love and accept myself. And this means nothing about me and nothing about my ability to help people. I have proven that my previous businesses have been very successful and this business is no exception. I am getting great feedback from people and I know that it's only a matter of time before my revenue explodes. And I'm totally accepting that revenue is not something I can control. So I have let go of it and I'm grateful for everything that I have. Now let's move on to improvements. What am I going to improve? Next month I am moving house, but I am still intending to make good progress with creating a new product and stay ahead with my content. My future business needs me to start offering coaching packages, which I will do as soon as I'm settled into my new house. To take my business to the next level, I will create one new product every single month and I want to start doing live streams. And I need to time block better and pace myself more. I need to raise my prices and I need to tweak my ads. 
Next section, time savers. I am going to write shorter blog posts and not do any video editing. I want to create one short video every day instead of batching it too much. The next section is commitments. I am still committing to two content pieces per week. I am committing to investing a certain amount of money each month in the stock market and regularly increasing this investment. I am recommitting to one hour of personal development time in the morning and also in the evening. And I did not engage with new people every single day, but I did engage with the same client every single day this month. And I commit to moving house and everything going well with the move. And I commit to finishing one more product next month. I'm just curious, have you ever had a failed launch and been too put off to ever launch again? Or maybe you've never plucked up the courage to launch for the first time as it just seems like too much hard work. And I've been there myself and even had a debilitating burnout after one launch that zapped all of the life from my entire body and I was too scared to launch again for a very long time until I finally discovered a strategy that helped me to launch quickly and easily and have a lot of fun in the process. And I've documented my system for launching with confidence and ease in my new course called Manifest Your Dream Launch. I take you through a 30 day journey from planning your dream launch, manifesting your results, launching with fun and ease, and then analyzing your results and planning your next launches. You can get that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash launch. And make sure you don't miss my next podcast episode by subscribing to my podcast, Manifest Business Success. I can also send you an email when my next piece of content has arrived and I give away so many more free gifts to my email subscribers. You can subscribe by opting into any of my free gifts, such as my Easy Launch Tech Toolkit. In this Easy Launch Tech Toolkit, I'm showing you exactly which tools I use in all of my launches across all of my businesses. And after a lot of research, I believe I have found a collection of online tools that are the most effective, economical, and easy to use. Save yourself the hassle of weeks upon weeks, weeks of research into the latest and greatest tech solutions because I've done all of the hard work for you over the last 10 years and I've tried out most of the solutions out there. This free toolkit is part of my Manifest Your Dream launch, so go and grab it now for free for a limited time only by clicking the link kathkyle.com launch toolkit. And don't forget, if you would like one-to-one -one coaching from me, go and check that out before I raise my prices. You can get that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash coaching. And now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.